this work was important for Australian audiences because the Islamic State group is more than just one thing. Australians understandably might focus on it as an international jihadist organisation because after all its members are accused of inspiring and in some cases planning terrorist attacks in Australia. But what I wanted to do was through a mix of raw combat reporting and also analytical reporting I wanted to delve more deeply into where IS came from to show in a real multifaceted way the deep roots that IS has in Iraqi society, in the conflict within Iraq and in the flow on from the US led invasion in 2003 which Australia was part of. It's really crucial to not just report the suicide bombings, the death toll because that's something that people become desensitised to very quickly and one of the things that I'm really proud of about the work that is nominated for this award is that we looked beyond just the body count. So much of what happens here affects the rest of the world, whether it's uh, stability and the geopolitics of the entire chessboard, which we've seen change dramatically in recent years, all the way to the ongoing concern about stability of energy supplies and the countries that are involved in the oil economy. So for me, it's a deeply fascinating region, which for millennia has affected what's going on in the rest of the world. And I really think that foreign correspondents are a crucial part of any news organisation, a crucial part of any news diet, and a crucial part of our Australian news environment. <laughs>